Alright, I uh, just got the head unit. I just finished testing it. Looks like it's working so far. Uh, this is the. Without moving it too much. Um, EG Arju VX7 7010. Um, my old unit. I uh, was crapping out. So I decided to go with this one for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it has the uh, regular USB port. It has an LCD for GPS, uh, which is what I want to use a GPS on. Um, it has a knob, which I prefer on the left side, next near the uh, driver side, and of course the connector for the USB on the right side. In the US, we drive on the left side of the car, so the knob it's just my preference it uh, feels a little small so if you have big hands that might be a little hard to use I guess but uh, I tested the non GPS version of this at the uh, Fry's at the local store and I like the way the uh, screen was uh, pretty uh, it wasn't slow at when you touch anything you know, uh, the, the, the feel was pretty decent and I like the green here that I can match with my car uh, let's see, those are the main ones, and it has the audio video in here for uh, the regular plug too. So these are something I was looking for, that's just my preference. And of course the navigation, um, since I have to, had to get a new unit, um, I decided to go with an old one because I also needed a GPS. Um, this is my first Jensen, never had a Jensen, even though I just found out they're from um, I think it's the same company as Audiobox there that wants to make it. It is made in China just like most of the electronics for anybody that wants to know. Um, with that in mind let's go ahead and turn this on. I haven't seen any videos of any of the uh, all-in-one single DIN units so I wanted to um, get a video up there because I think this is where most of the new stuff is going anyway and uh, I do have a GPS or a regular GPS that I use but it's a pain in the bum trying to um, get that it's a pain in the bum trying to get that thing to boot up every time and um, here's the uh, GPS the old GPS I have it's a Magellan and it works but my battery no longer holds the charge so as long as it's plugged in it's fine but it's one less item I need to uh, get rid of on the uh, that I don't have to carry with me so that's cool and uh, here you can see here let me lift it up a little bit I'm trying not to move it because I have a battery plugged in there I don't know if this uh, camera will pick up the uh, screen. Oh, there's nothing on the screen right now, but that's basically what you see when you turn it on. And the screen does come on every time you turn it on. Um, but if I press the uh, open button, I can hide the screen. So I will have to do that every time I uh, turn it on, unfortunately. But it can be put in there since mostly I just listen to music. Um, the screen for me it's mainly for a GPS um, I don't really care about it, playing movies in my car or even on my phone I, although I can do it uh, that's just not the reason I got this to me the GPS is very one of the most important things since it's what you use and especially when you're lost in the middle of nowhere at, at a pretty late time at night um, so I wanted that all included and this will definitely be something that uh, you'll see a lot more nowadays because um, it basically updates your car to the latest stuff without having to spend too much on uh, different things and um, pretty much does what a lot of the new cars uh, give you now so you can just get a new head unit and that takes care of that which is really nice so let me go ahead and open the uh, display again to show you how fast or slow, if you will, uh, it, it comes up. Back 
I'll get up here. So my phone is uh, connected. Um, I do have a one of those Chinese phones and this is one of the reasons uh, which reminds me this is one of the reasons I went with this one um, I did it I saw that single din uh, Android there's uh, Android uh, versions of uh, single din or double din uh, head units you can get now uh, unfortunately what I know about the Androids it's that having this uh, phone from China the hardware is great and everything but there are not or usually no updates if you will um, and, uh, you know a lot of the updates aren't there yes you can access the uh, Google Play Store and all that but that's what kept me from getting a head unit uh, with the Android not to mention it's got a lot more stuff in here which in a car I really don't want anyway uh, this uses uh, on the sticker in the back here it says Windows CE 6 and it is a lot faster the uh, screen it's not too bad it, you know you just gotta tap it with your finger so it's fine and you gotta tap it every time just to uh, get the numbers out but as you can see the screen doesn't move back and forth it's pretty sturdy so I like that um, I guess I could get a sh shot from it but it's it's on there, it doesn't shake or wiggle or anything. So that's pretty nice. So let me go back here. Um, oh, I want to show you the, uh, for the music, uh, I have the music on my blue uh, phone. You have to change it here. And if you look at the, uh, let me see here. I'm gonna press, you can actually press play on this and it'll start playing here on my phone. Well, actually, hold on, let me start it on here. There we go. Okay, so there's my uh, uh, what do you call it? Me, uh, my song or uh, whatever I chosen. If I hit it here, you can see it's starting to play. I don't have speakers plugged in there, but the control works. So this one is uh, whoops, Shakira. So let me go to the next one. So you can see uh, it scrolls through the different songs. So that's pretty cool. It plays, stops. And I've used that with the other one, uh, my old head unit too, which was Bluetooth, and it's obviously that's why you want, or why I want it, a Bluetooth and nav, um, and it supports my Android phone, but unfortunately you can't see the uh, songs on it. Uh, maybe if I plug it on the uh, other plug here, I don't know. I just got it, so I just wanted to show you that that does work. Uh, so we go back to the phone here. Just do kind of an overall view. Uh, let me see here. So if we go to the disc, uh, that's for your uh, DVD. So let me put a movie here and I'll show you what comes up. So the disc goes in a little bit slow. Um, you know, it is what it is. I, I, that's not something that I really care too much about since I mainly use my USB port on here and my phone but there's your warning that's what you get now what I did was I tested the uh, on this one the pink wire if you ground it it'll let you it'll start playing so you can bypass it and I know there's another uh, setting uh, I can't remember where it was that I want to try oh, here let me see if, I, if it works somebody did a code I think it was one two three four five or five four three two one no, I don't think there's a battery in here I want to try and see if that would work with this one um, I couldn't tell you I know that the uh, what do you call it the uh, the wire uh, works when you ground it so just like uh, the others or the other videos I've seen for different radios um, well let me do this here so I'm just gonna put the new battery on here. Um, I'm just I just got it out of the bag. If I can get it in there. Uh, 
Alright, so it looks like this is kind of a pain in the butt to install, but um, so you gotta go down here and then push it in. Um, it's a weird thing on there. So let me see, uh, four, whoops, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and I guess enter. I can't remember what it was, but I saw it on YouTube. I think it was in the settings. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Arrow, no. Um, well, I'll have to check on that. So, and then I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, post it on on the video later. But uh, so here we go. Deep, deep. So I guess you can just tap wherever you want or use the arrows. Uh, let's see here. So those are the settings for general audio sub time. Then you have that. I just changed that language. Uh, Bluetooth. Those are the settings. DVD. Now you can put your own code, which is pretty cool. Uh, rating. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, the DRC is, but um, so you get. Whoops, let me go back. Yeah, that's all you get on that. That's all you get on that. Time. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now let's go down to volume. So I get a little, a few more options here. So now I guess the volume for each individual uh, component, if you want to change that. And my version MCU.99 May 4, 2014. MPEG version, servo version, Bluetooth version 6.6, .6, MPU OS version 14607, blah blah blah. Okay, there's a bunch of numbers there. But um, that's cool. So, so far it's. Well, I am on the settings. Uh, so, we go back. Uh, let's go to previews. So, this is the main screen um, of the options. So, let's go to the radio, and then you get your different. Um, radio options there. A few more here. Option RDS. Okay. Distance. Local. Uh, AS. Don't know what that is. AQ. So you get quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options here. And uh, different types of. Uh, uh, music uh, options so you get flat user reset loudness on off um, that's the EQ so you get a fader oh it looks pretty nice so you can tweak that bam let's go back okay so let's go to source radio we did this USB uh, I have nothing plugged in. Audio, video. Uh, nothing plugged in there. So you get an option to add an XM radio. I don't have one. Uh, we did the Bluetooth. Uh, let me see. Let me go back here. So this is kind of nice. Usually I like this buttons to be on the left hand side closer to the driver. But yeah, it is what it is on this one. And I've seen some that have it other way on this one, which I didn't like, but that's just, you know, uh, been a little picky about it. Uh, this one is more on the center. It's not here, but yeah, it's not that far from me anyway, so I'm okay. And then you get your music on there, and that's all I see. I don't know if that's going to change if once the music uh, it's actually going, but it didn't look like it. So let me see. Can I click on it? Nope. This just tells you, oops. That just links your device. Uh, options. These are my few options you get. I haven't synced anything, so uh, that's the phone model. Alright, so now we go to Pandora. My old one had it too, so Android via USB. So you can choose. I uh, don't use it anyways, but uh, it's there. And let's see, here we go. Okay, we got the nav. That's your uh, screen and prompt. You gotta wait for it to accept it. 
I always find those things very annoying. I wish I could, uh, uh, what do you call it, disable it because it just takes longer for this to boot, especially when I already know that. I've been using one. Oh, that's the other thing. If you have a GPS, uh, most of them are pretty much similar in how they work. So uh, what I want to see is the map. I'm not sure why the demo keeps showing up here, but uh, I haven't done anything to it. So let's go to menu, uh, tools, so you can customize a few things here. All right, go back. Hmm, destinations. Find address. This is cool because I can choose the city, the street. Or the well, you can choose what do you what you want to input. I don't have a GPS plugged in, so you won't see that. But on the other one, it made me put in either the street first or the number. I forget which one, but it, it's kind of weird. This one, I like that I can choose it. All right. So yeah, I'm on the map and just a few more options. So yeah, trip, country information, help, sunrise. And well, that's pretty much it for the uh, GPS. So there you go. Um, problem is there's no, there's barely a GPS or a satellite getting picked up. Now, how do I go back out of here? Okay, so there's no option to get out of this map. So that sucks. Now I have to go back to source here. There's no option to get out of this screen. Which sucks. So in order to get out, you have to press source here. So now I'm back up. Um, that kind of sucks. But other than that, then you have your regular settings, which I think I already cover. Yep camera there's an option for a camera alright and then there's your uh, AV2 nothing there you get your switches for your uh, controls on your steering wheel nothing there and well that's pretty much it oh and uh, you can again you can close the display on here and uh, listen to the radio but that's kind of a bummer too it has to come out every time you uh, turn it on and then uh, to toggle through that I think you go through that displays yep there you go alright well that's it